So let's understand why we are uh, doing the insulation coordinate study and what is the next chapter we are looking into. So till now, we developed a single line diagram. We already uh, developed the LVAC, low voltage system distribution, like auxiliary system distribution. Now the entire setup, except the control and protection, the entire design was freezer team. The design, the design of a uh, schematic scheme was, uh, uh, was completed, single line diagram, all completed. Now what we have to do? We have to implement all this scheme in the site, in the site. So I have to construct the substation in the site. How should I construct? So for that, I required a basic, which is my single line diagram. The single line diagram will tell us one line representation of three phase network. Right? So now I have to, I have to know how to place these equipments in a simple way. If I am looking into the very interesting team, please uh, concentrate for today. Uh, oh, sorry, for uh, next uh, one hour. I am having 33 KV feeders. In the 133 KV feeder, I can see the lightning arrester and isolator, breaker, CT, and isolator connecting to the bus. If you look this, this is a single line representation. But if I am seeing in the side, I have to place for us the network is three phase. I mean, I have to place three lightning arresters. Suppose let's see uh, R Y B phases, right? So I'm taking R. So lightning arrester, R phase, isolator, breaker, C T, isolator, and the B phase bus, R phase bus. Next, lightning arrester, isolator, breaker, C T isolator and Y phase bus. Next. Lightning arrester, isolator, breaker, C T, uh, light, uh, isolator and B phase bus. And I have to connect all this to this bus. And I have to connect all this to this bus. And I have to connect all this to this bus. So this is only this representation. Like this, I am having how many? 20, 10 uh, number of feeders and transformers, 220 kV side. So whole I have to implement in the site. So if I implementation, okay, fine. Uh, okay, I am placing the lightning arrestor. So I placed the lightning arrestor here. Then the question was raised. After placing the R phase lightning arrestor, I got a doubt. So what is the distance I have to maintain between these two? And what is the distance I have to maintain between these two? And what is how to erect this lightning arrestor? I mean, if I am seeing the uh, uh, ground, so I am having a, uh, so I have to place this lightning arrestor, right? So shall I place the lightning arrestor on the uh, ground itself? No, you have to place it some level. So what are these things? So I have to maintain, so how to place this lightning arrestor? At what height I have to place the lightning arrestor from the ground level? What is the distance between two equipments and the same equipment of different phases? So you need, you need all these things. If uh, you, you can do all these things, if you know what are the clearances to be maintained between the phase to phase and phase to the earth. Got my point team? If you know the phase to phase clearances and if you know the phase to earth clearances of 33 kV and 220 kV, you can uh, do the uh, this uh, uh, layout in on your own design.